Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about RV pet safety. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. It seems like almost every single day on one of the Facebook groups I'm a part of, I see someone making a post asking a question in regards to RV pet safety, whether it's, oh, what's the best way to monitor the temperature? What's the best way to keep your eye on them while you're away? Stuff like that. I see it every single day. So I figured I'd make a video about it. So here are a few things that we do to keep our pets safe. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is RV uh, temperature sensing. So we have what's called a Govi RV temperature sensor, and it is right here on the wall. It is $50 on Amazon. It's not that expensive considering most of the temp sticks and things like that that have their own um, you know, Verizon or AT&T actual plan to them. They're much more expensive and you have monthly services. This is $50 up front. It connects to Wi-Fi and you don't have any kind of service to pay for the monitoring. Um, you can access from your phone, obviously, through the Wi-Fi. You can also set alerts on your phone through the app um, to go off either, I think it's every 10 minutes and 30 minutes are the two options for it to basically go in, check what the temperature is and send you an alert if it's outside of the range that you set. You can set a high and a low on both temperature and humidity. This does both. Um, and it's, it's pretty darn accurate and it also has an offset if you wanted to change it to you know match your thermostat you know so you you feel like whatever temperature is you know a, a false a false reading you can change that um, inside the app um, I actually have two temperature sensors here this one is just a battery operated sits on the wall doesn't connect to anything it's not Bluetooth it doesn't do anything it was just for me it was a, a second way of knowing how accurate this thing is and again this is just battery operated it runs off little AAA batteries in the back Mounts right on the wall, super easy, super cheap, super convenient, we love it. The next little piece of gear I wanna talk about is sitting right above me, boop, right there. And that is a WISE camera. I actually have two of them. I have one up in that corner and I have one up in the exact opposite corner. Bam, here in the living room. Um, they are, let me think, I think they're $25 a piece, maybe $26 a piece on Amazon. And again, connects to Wi-Fi, has a little SD card in it, so you do have to buy an SD card if you want storage. Now, if you just want to be able to look in on the animals while you're gone, you don't need the SD card. The SD card is only if you want to be recording and go back and look at what's going on in the RV over time. So we bought the SD cards so that we can actually see what's been happening in the RV because we also use them for security. But we have the one that's above me here in the kitchen pointed right at the, the dog's crate and we can see them while we're away. We know that they're safe. We know if they're crying. We know uh, everything we, we need to know. And again, we can look at our temperature sensor by going on the app and looking at the temperature or just relying on it to send alerts. Jasper, crate. Good boy. Good crate. Are you safe in there? Is that your safe spot? Good boy. Good boy. Crate training to me is the best thing you can do for uh, your dogs. Cats are a little different. I'm not gonna tell you how to travel with cats. Uh, and I'm not gonna tell you how to travel with your dogs. I'm just trying to show you how we travel with our dogs. We have two dogs. You've already met Jasper. I'll show you Bandit here in a little bit. He's a, a little Borgy, Border Collie Corgi that we just rescued not too long ago. Um, and they both go in the crate while we're gone. That crate is their safe spot. Not only does it create a safe space for them, but it also creates a safe space for us because now we know that they're not in the RV potentially tearing up furniture, getting through the door. I'm sure people have seen that picture online, um, tearing up a screen, going after a window, any of that kind of stuff that comes with dogs that might have separation anxiety or you know they hear a lot of noise while you're not there and you have no control. If they're in the crate, they are controlled, they can't go anywhere, they can't do anything, and they know that's their safe space. So crate training to me, is one of the best things you can do for a, a dog while RVing. So this is Mr. Bandit, and uh, we just rescued him a little bit over a month ago when we uh, first got to Michigan. We've been looking basically this entire trip, trying to find a second dog, uh, a good friend to have for Jasper, and a better companion for Erica. And we were looking in every single state. If we were in Wyoming, we were looking on Craigslist and Facebook in Wyoming. If we were in 
South Dakota, it was the same thing. Every Everywhere we were at, we were looking for a dog, um, trying to find the right fit. And when we got to Michigan, we found this little poodle mix <laughs> um, that is definitely a Border Collie Corgi mix, um, who was living in a horse barn. Um, just He was brown, not white. Um, he was extremely timid. He wouldn't move a muscle at first. I mean, the dog, when the lady met up with us, um, he literally just sat there on the ground, glued to the floor, didn't want to move, put him on a leash, he didn't want to move. He is a completely different dog now, busted out of his shell completely, um, and he's a great, great addition. Um, so, that's Mr. Bandit. Toys, 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 toys. Jasper, where's your ball? Oh, there's your ball, I just saw you had it. Toys. So you see we have a lot of toys for them. That's because you want to really stimulate their brain any way that you can. Multiple different ways of doing it with, you know, balls for chasing, ropes for tugging, uh, the bone marrow for chewing. There's all those different things that you want to make RVing uh, and being out in your RV and being camping or whatever it is that you're doing, you want to make that as positive of an experience as possible for your dogs. So if you have extra fun toys and extra fun things in the RV that they only get to do while they're in their RV, that's awesome for them. That makes them want to go with you. And eventually, depending on how well your dog naturally travels, they're going to travel a lot better in the future if they didn't already. Release the hounds. Another great reason for the toys and the snuffle mat and the puzzles, which I'm going to, well, I, I ordered a few things on Amazon. They haven't come yet, um, but we got a couple dog puzzles. We had one back home. Anyways, the great thing about that kind of stuff is it keeps them busy and it prevents them from being becoming destructive. The last thing you want is for a dog to become destructive in RV and start chewing on a corner, start ripping up your clothes, start chewing on the furniture. Any, any of that kind of stuff is not good in RV, obviously. So these are all ways to try and prevent that from happening. As you can see, Jasper is extremely interested in this bandit. I uh, kind of got tired of it after about five minutes, but Jasper's been going for about 10 minutes now. So again, a great way to stimulate the brain, get them off your chest, set it up, and just let them do their thing. Erica made this for the dog with her sewing machine. Uh, it's only her second project that she uses a sewing machine for, so she wanted a little disclaimer out there. Uh, this is not meant to look pretty, it's just meant to be functional for the dogs, which I think is perfect for them. They seem to love it. As you can see, Jasper's still going. Bandit has decided to regain interest, and uh, you can just fold it up, you can throw it in a ball, throw it in the corner. It doesn't really take up a lot of space, but when it's out, it works great for the dogs for stimulation. Treats keep them busy, it lets them do their own thing. You want to have a plethora of different types of treats. Right now Bandit is enjoying one of his greenies, but we also have little biscuits and cookies and we'll give him an ice cube. Anything like that that helps to keep them busy and make it a positive experience to be in the RV with you. Next thing I want to talk about with you guys is tow vehicle. Um, obviously, if you're in a Class A, it's a lot different, but for us, we have a tow vehicle. So each dog has their own bungee. Uh, you can see Jasper's over there. This is Bandit's over here. Uh, a little seat belt that goes on their collar. Uh, this platform goes from the very, very back of the seat all the way up to the back of the front seat, and it's hard all the way through. So they actually have this whole big space versus most uh, hammocks that come back here. Literally just touch the seat and then come back up so you're missing a good you know, eight to 10 inches, depending on the, your uh, layout. Uh, the other thing we added back here is these fans. There's one on both sides. Now this mat is $108 on Amazon, and these fans are like $32, $33, and they're awesome. They're directional, you can face them any way you want to, and they work amazingly. They're actually designed to go in the back of the headrest right here. I rigged them up to go up on the, uh, the uh, oh crap handles and uh, they work out great, really help keep the dogs cool and comfortable and they love it back here. Same thing like we do inside, we want toys, we want treats, we want them to be busy, we want them to enjoy the car and our dogs travel amazingly well together. Um, if your dogs are having problems, try more treats, try to give them you know, more things to keep them busy, keep them stimulated and be enjoying the ride as much as possible. The absolutely most important thing you need to do with your animals, whether you got a cat, a dog, a gecko, doesn't matter, is create a routine. Dogs thrive on having a routine. Walking, exercise, running, 
playing inside, working on their tricks, all that kind of stuff. You need to have some kind of routine for them that you do not break and you make time to do it every single day because if you don't, your dog will run all over you and you will not enjoy our being with them. So make sure you get on some kind of routine that works for you and your animal. That's it for this week's video. <laughs> if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. These guys are going to play a little bit right on me. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.